Okay, so for my uh, design project, I chose Jacques Fabre. Jacques Fabre is a French designer from the 1930s. And before he actually was a fashion designer, he um, was drafted into World War II. So he was actually, he was actually in World War II. Um, he was captured by the German army. And um, so after he was released, that's when he started making clothing. So here's a picture of him right here. So what he was really famous for was his feminine approach to clothing. Um, he was all about ruffles, um, draping, and when it came to women's fashion, he wanted everything super tight. Super tight, um, lots of cleavage. At the tighter, tighter it is possible, the better. So you can see in these images right here how tight everything was. Lots of ruffles, very feminine. His approach wanted, he wanted women to be feminine. He wanted you women to bring back the youthfulness they had once they were young. So he wanted to rid women of their mundane, tired clothing and give them something more youthful, give them something more life. Um, so that's what he was all, all about. And um, so unfortunately, he did die. And um, after he died, his fashion house wasn't really taken care of. His wife took it over. But his wife really didn't understand nor have the same drive as he did to uh, to keep it going. So it did fade away, and it did close. But currently, he has a perfume line that still runs to this day, and that's the only living remnants of his fashion fashion line fashion history is this perfume line. You can buy perfume from him today, still to this day. It's still quite popular. But what um, was missing is his his ability to create clothing. It doesn't there's not any clothing that's made now. So he was a really iconic designer post World War II. He was one of the top three, um, and his haute couture was famous all around the world. He had an economical line made in America specifically for like the common the middle class women who couldn't really afford his haute couture. Um, so he was really an iconic designer, uh, and that's about it.